so we just got the vest and we just won a new car from Copart. It has absolutely been a dream to get a truck like this. I know it's been a, I, I know it's, it's a truck, it's a truck. It's not a BMW. BMWs don't make trucks. If they did, I would have bought a BMW truck. But this isn't a BMW, but uh, this will help with all of our future builds. And at the same time, I think we're gonna build this F-150 be something absolutely insane for a tow rig to car events. Uh, you know, so just it'll be just be a sick tow rig. I just always wanted this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just head down to Copart. I'm gonna be taking my girl with me. We're gonna be hopefully picking the F-150 up today. We gotta head down to the bank and get some money transferred. So uh, let's head out. All right, guys. So the hoopty just got a check engine light and a transmission malfunction light. What's going on here, guys? Let's go ahead. We're right back to the house and we need to diagnose this thing because uh, I'm not taking it out for a drive. We have some major engine things going on right now. All right guys, so it says these are the engine codes. This is because of the transmission and this is not a big deal at all. So it's kind of weird that even have those and all the major ones are saying transmission. So turbuline, speed sensor, short circuit, position i know this one was an error this is a new error up here so that's new after even doing everything to the transmission and fixing everything we have that so that is something i'm gonna have to look into i'm gonna screenshot this park this in control modules yeah we already know we're working on that but it's weird why does it have a check engine or service engine when the engine's not even on a red error that's so weird like i don't get that i'm gonna go ahead and clear all the codes guys and go out for the drive today and hopefully we'll make it back with no issues we'll see what happens today it's a good day we're getting a new car so i'm gonna stay positive but we might end up coming back home with two cars on a trailer <laughs> So we'll see what happens today guys guys the car wants to go in park look oh look <laughs> It's saying it's in park and then all of a sudden just flicks back in neutral. Is it in park? It's in park now What you guys saw that too, I don't okay, let's just hit on our journey Just got the check, boys. Let's head out and head to Copart. Alright, guys, so we just pulled up in the hoopty to pick up another hoopty. <laughs> so let's go ahead inside of Copart and just uh, give them the check that they need to hopefully release the truck. And then uh, hopefully our tow truck driver will be here to pick it up because we, we need everything to be done all at once. So take it back to our house and I'll show you guys the car. But uh, I'm also gonna show you guys the truck getting loaded on because that's pretty cool. Guys, this Copar waiting game, it's no joke. Literally been here for 10 minutes and then it went up to 15 minutes. <laughs> so I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but uh, just hold on tight. All right guys, so we got our packet. They are getting the truck out right now. I am so excited. We got our first Ford F-150, boys. Oh my God, that's, that's our car. Oh my goodness, guys. Welcome the new build to the channel. Oh my God, okay, hold up. Oh buddy, that thing looks good. All right guys, so this is a 2014 F-150 Lariat. Oh, is that the suspension that just dropped? Perfect. <laughs> oh man, guys. Check it out. Oh man, this thing looks so good. So obviously, this is the damage right here. But that can easily just get pulled right on out. Look at the metal. This can, oh my god, this is such an easy pull, easy fix. Um, nothing down here looks anything damaged. Um, this wheel is not savable. It's actually just scuffed up. We might need to, we could just get a tire on here and rock it for now. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. And then uh, other than the rear bed, everything else seems to be perfect. <laughs> Time to follow the truck back home, guys.
Guys, check this out. So in terms of options, it literally, I cannot wait to do a full review on this. There's no check engine light, no nothing. Literally just airbag and TPMS, which we know those are the two issues. Easy stuff to fix, 122,000 miles. Full option, guys. Like this is a Lariat package, um, F-150. Super, super, super excited about this. Let's go ahead and get it on the driveway and uh, show you guys a little bit about What's the car more. Let's go on, ID. Guys, it has its own trailer option. That's what you already guys know, it's gonna be lit. <laughs> and, um, hey babe, you trying to hop in the back? Look at the rear seats, dude, so much space. It actually has a 12 volt outlet for like a computer. Ooh. It's got a sunroof. All right, guys, so I found a bag in the trunk here, and uh, it looks like it's like pieces of the car. Is that a fog lamp? Uh oh. Oh, you're missing a fog lamp? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anywho, what's cool about the damage, guys, if you guys look in here, the damage right here, there's literally nothing that comes inside of the trunk. So everything that's happening over here on the side. Oh, my God, look at the wheels. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that's happening right here, you can just literally get pulled out and we're good to go. Like this is such an easy fix. And then obviously we need new rims and tires on both sides. I think the rear suspension arm is a little bit cambered. Um, it looks a little bit bent out of place. So we might need to get some control arms in the rear. But as for the front, um, I also do think that the rim itself, yeah, the rim itself might be savable. Believe it or not, this one might be good. Um, we'll go ahead and do some research on the tires and the rims and hopefully get a new set like as soon as possible so we can literally get this thing up. Because as soon as we get new rims and tires on this thing, it's literally can just go driving down the road. Um, in terms of airbags, literally the only things that are gone wrong is the current airbags on both sides. I thought the seat airbag from the looks of it from this angle, it looks like the the the, pass the driver's seat airbag blew out, but they literally just cut the current airbag and it's dangling down. So that saves us a bunch of money. So literally just two current airbags, which is great two wheels, two tires, and just get that thing pulled out. It's the only damage I can really see other than a few little cosmetic things in the interior, but I mean, uh, I, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow. The thing is, I actually have class already started, and unfortunately, I gotta get to it. I'm already 17 minutes over, over the time thing, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, we are just too excited to actually, I mean, I have a class right now, but we decided to join in for an hour and then cut off the key and then go back and join the rest of the class. <laughs> but anywho, Figured, well, let's get this on camera. This is our new keys to our F-150. Lariat. Lariat. Super crew. Anywho, <laughs> super crew. Um, so this whole interior needs to get cleaned up. My girl noticed that the seatbelt is seized up. So uh, it looks like it is gonna need a seatbelt rebuilt here. Yeah, yeah, seatbelt is seized up. Uh, in terms of the roof, this actually didn't get damaged. It just got pushed out of place. So thankfully, it looks like we're gonna do a re Yeah, we can reuse the headliner. Perfect. We just need to cut out these airbags, get new airbags on both sides. You guys already know I got that rivet gun from the M4. Um, and then just two current airbags, that's it for the interior, thankfully. And then this is a seat buckle. Easy stuff, guys. We'll see if I haven't got the keys. Um, I'm gonna fill this in the back. We'll do a little bit of a cleaning in a little bit, but um, let's go ahead and pull out the car and give it a good wash. All right, so something I just realized, uh, my girl's father and her, she's at, they've actually owned multiple Fords before, and this is apparently common on Fords. Did you guys know that if you click this button twice, Might you have to lock it. I have to lock it first, and then, and then click it twice. You're so happy. <laughs> like what? That is so. Is that all Fords or just like the, the higher end ones? I'm not sure if all Fords do it, but all, is, all the Fords that I drove, that they do it. That is so cool. Like honestly, I, I, and then you can even turn it off. You just click it twice and turn it off. There's no point to keep turning it on and off. We did it like three times off camera because we couldn't freaking believe it. Anyhow, we're gonna get inside the car, back it up. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and just make sure this rim doesn't get damaged anymore. That rim back there, we're gonna go ahead and replace it. We need to get new tires. So what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna get a new set of tires in the rear, move that one to the front, because it's the same size. And then uh, just get one new rim, two new tires, and we should be good to go. Probably gonna keep this budget under, you know, maybe 700 bucks to get up. We'll pretty much get this thing back on the road. But yeah, let's go ahead and back it up, cut off the airbags, and start cleaning it up. Hello. Hello. Guys, our neighbors just walked by us, and he was like, he was like, look, he's walking through this yeah. side. And he came this side. And he's like, 
<laughs> you know, I'm cutting out the airbags of a car. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Alright guys, my girl is detailing the inside of the car, but uh, this car was purchased from Roseville Future Ford. It has an estimated retail value right now of $32,000. We got it for an absolute steal of a deal for a third of the price. And I definitely think we can get this car on the road within one or two videos. Like that should be absolutely insane and have it registered and fully get to go in literally a, a, like one or two videos. This thing looks so good. Oh my God. I'm a huge BMW fan, but who doesn't love a nice truck that can tell your BMWs when they are down? So uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. My, my girl found this. I am trying to watch a video right now trying to figure out how I can drop the spare tire. We can actually remove the spare tire and replace probably the front because uh, the rear is more destroyed, but if we replace the front, at least we could take off this good rim, diagnose it, make sure this is good, put a rim in there, and then as for the rear, because it's already destroyed, we don't really care about it, we can run on this for a little bit just to get it inside the garage and outside the garage, but we also need to take this off to check the wheel size. We need to get the measurements of this wheel, get the measurements of the front wheel, make sure they're the same, because there's two kinds of measurements for this wheel, and uh, these wheels, they go for about $300 a pop. I don't want to order two or three or four if I don't need to, so if I could just order one and get the exact one, and there's two different colors, that would be ideal. So I need to pop off this rim, get the exact number on the back of it. We'll go ahead and place an order on one more, and then we need to order two more tires. We're gonna go ahead and move that rear tire to the front and get two new tires in the rear. I'm just super excited, guys, to get this thing fully on the road. All right, guys, my girl pretty much cleaned up this side. It's looking so much better. Um, I'm actually, this control unit is on here and looks perfectly fine. The other one, I think since the seatbelt pretty much blew out, this, I think this thing flew out and then this ended up flying out. I think that's according to my, my, my nor logic. So looking at this here, yeah, this is broken. Oh, actually this is all broken because of, I guess the seatbelt when it blew out. Uh, so it looks like I might need to get a new bracket here, but as for now, let's go in and see if we can just slap that back in place. Come on now. Yeah, you can hold the camera real quick. Well, I mean, it's on there for now. So at this point, guys, is go ahead and get the car in the garage and just get that spare out so we can actually replace one of the wheels and then probably even take the other wheel with us as well and uh, just get that tire remounted. I actually think, I, I, I know I probably need a new tire, but this one doesn't look damaged. Like, I know I drove, on, I drove on it a little bit just to get it into the garage, but I think it just popped out of place. I think the tire's still good. Let's go ahead and take the whole wheel off and tire and see if that's still good. Obviously, the rim has some severe curb rash. I'm actually gonna get this rim repaired, but as for the tire, it's a 50-50 chance for the rear it needs a new tire it needs a new rim but for the front the rim can get painted as long as there's no bends on the tire i mean no bends on the rim and then the tire is good we might be able to actually save some money right here as well
bada bing bada bang guys we're already trying to get this truck on the road so we got the spare in the rear we need a new tire new rim on the rear there and you can clearly see this the, the impact of the damage even more with the rim actually standing up so uh, my girl's actually going to reverse the car right here we're going to take this rim and tire down to la schwab because i don't see a tear on this tire whatsoever and this rim is just very scuffed up but i can get that repaired for like 150 bucks and then literally just get this tire remounted and we are good to go all we need is one tire one rim that is the dream guys that is absolute dream we'll be saving so much money and at the same time using the original stuff because when you guys get a new tire on one side and the other side is used it doesn't work you're gonna need two front tires so this can save us a bunch of money so let's go ahead and load this up into the 7 series and then probably take it down to the shop tomorrow that will hopefully be in the next episode so if you guys are excited for the f-150 tow build on the channel make sure to smash the like button i know it's not a bmw i definitely know that but i mean Come on, as BMW owners, you guys know that BMWs are very unreliable and having a tow rig, a tow setup, and especially this could even take my i8 down to like LA and do car events down there. Like this is the dream, especially considering the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging and you're, you know, you're a Beamer dude and uh, you want something that's, you know, not a sports car, but serves a good purpose, you know, tow rig. Without further ado, guys, I don't have any save a Ford stuff. I'm not gonna, this is probably gonna be the only Ford I'm ever gonna be rebuilding on this channel. But have some merch down below to support your boy. Smash the like button if you guys have enjoyed this video and it are surprised. We are still getting another BMW build on the channel. It's actually gonna be my girls' build. So that's gonna be very exciting. So without further ado, guys, make sure to smash the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Cop some merch to support your boy. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.